Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine at your home. Today we are going to study one of the chapters of Environmental Studies, Part 1, Standard 5. That is, lesson number 2, Motions of the Earth. Before moving forward, student, watch this. Yes, student, have you observed it carefully? Yes, very good. What do you see here? Yeah, the top is turning around itself. Okay? When a top or any object rotates itself, that is known as rotation. Okay? Students, actually, when an object rotates around itself, it means that it turns around a certain imaginary line. Okay, student, as we know about our Earth, Earth rotates along with its own axis. What is axis? Axis is an imaginary line. In the same way, the any object that rotates around itself, it means it turns around an imaginary line line that turning is called rotation ok student and the imaginary line around which it rotates is called the axis of its rotation have you understood students what is rotation now it will help you to understand the earth's rotation ok students students we shall learn now the Earth's rotation. Students, now we shall study the rotation of Earth. We know that our Earth rotates along its own axis. What is axis, student, here? Axis is an imaginary line that passes through the center of the Earth and meets on the two poles, that is the North Pole and South Pole. So, student, take a globe and students, see here, the Earth is rotating itself along with its axis. Okay, student, observe it carefully. The Earth rotates from west to east side. Now students, take a plumb line and hold it close to the globe. Ok students, now what do you see here? You will see that the plumb line and the earth's axis are at an angle to each other. That is, the earth's axis is inclined. It means the earth's axis is somewhat bent down. Ok students, the earth rotates with its axis inclined like this. The line Yan Yas in the picture shows the earth's axis. Yan Yas means North Pole and South Pole. It passes through the center of the earth. The point Yan and Yas are called poles of the earth. Yan is north pole of the earth and south is south pole of the earth as just now I told you. Ok student, have you understood this much? Very good. Now students, if we draw a line or a circle exactly in between the north and south pole, the earth will be divided into two equal parts. These two parts are called as Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. The upper part is Northern Hemisphere. The lower, the lower part is Southern Hemisphere. Ok students? Yes. And the line which bisects 
the earth into two equal parts is known as equator it is also an imaginary line the two equal parts it makes of the earth are called northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere respectively just now i told you okay students yes what do you mean by hemisphere hemisphere means half circle okay students yes have you understood this much very good so here what we have learned the earth's rotation 